morning everybody um i'm doing some van lock today so i'm just at my uh, my lock up to collect uh, my bits but this is where this is where sometimes having a small van can be a bit of a challenge so i've got to get all my stuff in there um yeah the time will come soon when i'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to get a bigger van but yeah i'm quite happy with this one for the, for the time being but um I'll show you what it looks like when it's all loaded up. Luckily, I don't need to use my um, my generator because uh, the customer's got power. I'm parking on their drive, so that's one less thing I've got to worry about trying to get in here because that's quite a big. Actually, let's just quickly show you. So that's the generator that I would normally take. Um, plus, I'll take this trolley just because all my stuff goes on there, and it just saves just saves me bending down all the time. And, and my air compressor as well, so I've got to get that on, that trolley, those tools there, those tools there, and usually my air compressor in the, in the airline, but this little bad boy is not me today, so let's get this on, get to the job. Here we go, we're loaded up. So that's the middle of my van, pretty much completely full, and luckily I don't need the, uh, the um, generator, otherwise that just has to lay across the top of it, but yeah <laughs> but like i said in my uh, if you haven't seen my van tour check out my van tour but like i say i'll make it work um it's not it's not ideal but it works so right we'll see you at the job guys oh, here we are guys so what we're doing on this um i wasn't able to bring my um <laughs> after i loaded it into the van my little trolley because it's the probably can't see it from here but it's the almost the world world's steepest driveway so it just yeah, it keeps sliding down so we're putting a high position hook hook lock on there we're putting a high position hook lock up there and we're also changing these standard door locks that come on these transit customs to a high security rep lock um, there's ways that, that thieves know how to manipulate these locks and then it opens all the back of the van so um yeah and if you guys are in anywhere near in Sussex, these guys are pretty good. Uh, ACG property services, all your building building works. But um, right, let's crack on. So these are the guys that I use uh, locks for vans, all of my, my van locks that I do. Um, yeah, this is what you get. You place the order, normally it's next day. And then everything in here that you need, it's all listed out. Just the lock for the driver's door. And this side load door, all the door. And that's the bracket for the rear barn door one. You get three keys for these. And um, yeah, such a good service they do. But uh, right, let's get these on. All right, what I like to do on all of my locks is um, just dry fit them first. Um, yeah, if you uh, if you rivet these and you haven't made the hole big enough or something like that, you there's all sorts of trouble. So I always dry fit first, then take it all off. Then I apply the wax or stuff to stop it from rusting, then put it all back. Uh, and then rivet it all up then. So I'm going to just put a few screws in the case. insert the lock case and then I can um, try the uh, try the cylinder in and if that goes in and works the lock then we're all good you see that one? always a bit fiddy these there we go screw in there temporarily So that's that's basically dry fitted. Um, that's what I'll do now. I'll dry fit the uh, I'll dry fit the keep on this door as well, and then um, make sure it's all working. Then I'll take it all back off and put the wax all on and and uh, rivet it all up, and then that'll be this one done. Well, there we go. 
the screws in that side there. So that's that keep dry fitted. So, in theory, this should. There you go, it's locked. So, I know now that I can probably drill all this up and uh, get it fitted properly. Okay, so this is the, this is the cut out for the lock. This is the back of the door, where the back it goes. As you can see, where all the holes are. And, and around there. I always leave the tape on um, until the end of it, because I've still got to drill the holes for the cover. But I um, use this wax on. Just like a black paste, wax and paste, that uh, just prevents any rust coming through on any um, on the bare metal. So that's ready for fitting now with the um, with the rivets. Right, so what we're going to do? Just going to get these this uh, <coughs> case riveted on. Before I rivet all of that on, I now like to get the, the lock case back in and the, and the cylinder back through. Get the screw back in there, which I don't know where I've put it. Literally lost the screw. How have I done that? Got it. Screw that in. Make sure that's working. All right, now I'll get this riveted in. The actual lock case to the uh, to the uh, bracket so that goes in there like that the lock case come with flat headed uh, you can see that um, rivets so they don't protrude these ones are domed head the ones that hold the actual um, the bracket in all solid on there now just got to put the rest of the rivets in there double check that works still yeah working lovely so now we've got the rest of the rivets in here actually we could try it we can make sure it's locking So we can get the rest of the rivets back on, well, the rest of the rivets in here now. So we can finish that up and that's this one done. Right, so it's time to put the cover escutcheon over there like that. So I've pre-drilled the holes, top and bottom, where this rivet's in. So I need to peel this off now. I'm going to need to put a little bit of wax on in the two little rivet holes. I've already done around the cylinder, so that's already done. Put a little bit of wax hole in there. A little bit of wax hole in there. And now this one's ready for riveting on. Now these are quickly just grab them and show you. These rivets are black and they're a bit smaller than the, the other ones that we're putting on. Um, and you may have noticed, for those who've got a keen eye, that I've actually got two rivet guns and that's because these, like I say, these are smaller. 
um, and it saves trying to swap the end over and all of that, which takes time. So I've just got two rivet guns. One does the smaller ones and one does the bigger ones. Ah, I nearly forgot. That was lucky. I've got to put some silicon around the cylinder. So I just need to pop the van. The pressure's just turned on. I need to go and get some silicon out of my van. Silicon. That's that silicon round. So now we can put our escutcheon plate. Over that. A little bit of silicon squeeze out, but we can just wipe that off. There we go, nice little clean up with the silicone and then this one is done. By the way, I'll tell you what's amazing for this, for getting this off with these big wipes. You might have seen them on my van tour, but these are proper good for getting this the wax all off and the um and the silicone. So good. Lovely, all done. So moving on to the side now. So this one's different. This doesn't come with a bracket. You have to cut the lock into the actual door on this one. So uh, we're going to go in there and then mask everything up, ready for the uh, ready for the Euro cylinder at the front. But yeah, so we get this one cut in. scary doing that one handy just to show you how I'll do it but anyway so that's the hole cut out for the lock so let's try that in there you go so that's that's fitted there now so now what I can do I can just pull that out slightly and now I can see where the cylinder is so now I can mark the front for the height of the cylinder so we get that done marked our cylinder position there so get that drilled out and we try it all in and again we'll uh, do a dry fit on this one. now dry fitted and then what we've got to do is mark the keep uh, on the actual on this part of the door here we have to cut a hole just in there but the way we do that the way we actually mark it out is so that little blob of blue grease there on, on the tip of the lock so what you do is you shut the door throw the bolt and that'll leave a little mark That's where we've got to put our kimp. So let's just quickly grab it. Here it is over here. And that will fit on there. About there like that. And that's where we cut our hole. Okay, so we dry fit it on the keep as well now. So there's just two screws in there. The hole's cut out. This is dry fitted, so let's give it a go. Let's test it, shall we? Yeah, that's working. So if you go to pull on the handle now, all you'll get is that tiny little bit cup of mill. Let's bolt it in. Lovely, so we've 
we've got to do now is take this, oh, take all this back out again and uh, give it a coat of wax all, drill the holes for the rivets and rivet it in. So this one's now got the wax all on it for the cylinder hole and the lock hole. So put that in there. Get our cylinder. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to better do this one handed. the rivets in there which are over here again you've got the flush ones on here not the domed so it goes in there like that like that guns down here the front again to do a little escutcheon and then that's this one done and then we've just got the rep look on the front right there we go guys so it's a hook bolt on the side load door and the rear barn doors the last thing i do before i'm going to move on to the front the last thing i do is get my airline and give the, the To this, to be able to get that one out and put the new one in, I'll take this um, door card off. So there's loads of little hidden screws underneath bits here and there, and I'll take all that off as well. So we'll get all that done now. Okay, so this is normally as far as I go with taking the door panel off rather than disconnecting the, the latch and everything else. I'll just hang there, peel this back, and there's the lock there. So that's what we've got to get out. Right, after a bit of a fight, I managed to get that out. That's the old one, so that's where the new one's going. I put some wax on, um, just around it where the old, where the old lock was. And there's the new, oh, the new shiny locks for van one that's going in. Beautiful. Okay, so new lock is in. Put up a fight this one. Got injuries, man. And Trim. We're just getting the trim back on there, it's got a bit of a window. Uh, module back in, and then we can give it all the test. Right, let's give this a go. So, it's locked at the moment, so it's working. It's locked again. Now, let's try the key. Open. That's all done, all that leaves me to do now is put one of my little key tags on and then uh, this job's done. 